Easy break 14,501. We've got the Artifacts 10 box case. And again, folks, let's get the other breaks moving. I'll give you guys about 9.30. Trilogies at 9. Spagoos at 9. Uh, I don't know what else we have, but a couple other breaks at 10. I feel like we can get them going. We've got a dual jersey to 145, Jack Eichel. Buffalo Sabres. Ooh, nice. For the Flyers to 49 Auto Facts Retro of Carter Hart. 49 autograph for the Flyers. Carter Hart. We've got a two ninety nine for the Wild of Stall. Two ninety nine for the LA Kings of Kopitar. We got a patchy patchy, a jersey patch for the Avalanche. Guy Lafleur. Also, what do you guys think today? Is Vegas going to get walked over again, or are they at least going to put up a competitive battle or win? What do you guys think for tonight? Orum of Huberto for the Panthers. And a 299 for the Carolina Hurricanes, Sveshnikov. We got a 499 for the Boston Bruins of Pasternak. What's your guys' call for that game? Oh, that patch is very thick. Holy jeez. Look how much... That patch, I don't even know if it's going to fit in a normal card. Look how much thicker... Or, sorry. How tall that patch is comparatively. That is significantly taller than some of those cards. My gosh. That was horribly cut. Two, yeah, I agree. Vegas, I think, is going to come out guns blazing. Like, absolutely have to come out guns blazing. We've got for the Winnipeg Jets, dual patch out of 15 of Shifley Halebuck. I don't know if they're going to beat the Avalanche, but I do think they're going to come out. At least I hope they come out significantly more aggressive. That last game was pretty embarrassing, honestly, for them. We've got an Orum of Shea Weber for the Habs. Four ninety nine for the Ducks of Gibson. Two ninety nine for the Oilers of Koskinen. Another patch. Jersey patch of Domi for the Habs to 65. Max Domi. Orum of Ryan Suter for the Wild. 299 for the Sharks, Evander Kane. And a 299 rookie of Lindstrom for the Red Wings. Box number three. Fleur for the Montreal Canadian, or sorry, for the Habs. Sorry, for the Avalanche, 399. Number 20, Purple of McDavid for the Oilers. Numbered 1 of 20, McDavid. Retro Rookie Redemption of Romanov for the Habs, number 4. 
Romanov for the Habs. We've got a Remnants jersey of Bergeron for Boston. $2.99 for the Ottawa Senators, Josh Norris. $99 for the Blues of Bennington. Rookie Redemption, Washington Capitals. And a remnant of Alex Petrangelo for the Blues. It's the plug. That's funny. Yeah, I, I, I don't know why they're not giving Romanov a, a good shot, but I feel like they uh, they don't really like playing their youngsters too, too often, do they? We've got an Orom of Gibson for the Ducks. Shabbat for the Ottawa Senators, 3 to 9. Uh, Leah, what's your question on that? Just so I know, I can help you out. We've got number to 30 for the Sharks, Eric Carlson. Rookie Redemption, Pittsburgh Penguins. Remnants jersey of Brock Nelson for the Islanders. $3.99 for the Blue Jackets, Liam Foody. Forty-five base parallel of Gensel for the Penguins. Rookie Redemption, Buffalo Sabres. And 175, Max Domi for the Habs. You were bummed I weren't on. Well, what do you mean? Ashley was on yesterday. I don't know if you're specifically talking about me, but... Interesting, Golden. That, that could be an interesting reason why, obviously. We've got a gold jewel jersey relic redemption number five. Which is Roman numeral autograph and memorabilia. Calia for LA. Any suggestions? Blue Jays would probably be the next best. As in like the team that's going to be the closest to the championship. We've got an Orum of McDavid for the Oilers. $2.99 for the Canes of Aho. $2.99 of Kessel for the Coyotes. I did not. What did he uh what did he say? Jersey patch emerald to 99. Martin Cott. For the abs. Martin Cott. Seattle Kraken. Or um, for the LA Kings of Kopitar. $3.99 for the Red Wings of Larkin. Two ninety nine Atkinson for the Jackets. Yeah, I don't know who's gonna be. Uh, I think I heard Dermot's probably the most likely, right? Agree they should get rid of any of those guys. $2.99 for the Maple Leafs of Pavin. 
Marner would be the most likely. I do not agree that they should, though. Why would you get rid of your core right now? 45, Duclair, for the Ottawa Senators. That would be hilarious, Chris, eh? Wild card number 218. Of Krapsov for the Rangers. Number to 175 dual jersey of Hellebuck for the Jets. I think people just have to have a little more patience. 175, Hellebuck. Number to 65 jersey patch of Freddie Anderson. Rich, are you on the get rid of it or not get rid of it core? Or part of the core. Or um, for the Ottawa Senators, Brady Kachuk. $2.99 for the Islanders, Anders Lee. $4.99 of Barzil for the Islanders. I absolutely know what Marner did. Trust me, I watched the games. My only thinking for those, I just want you to take a step back for a second and think about this. Up until this year, would any of you change the core of the Avalanche? Landeskog, McKinnon, Rontanen. Would any of you guys, before this year, change the Avalanche team? Those three guys. Because they have not done anything as of yet. I want to, I'm, I'm just kind of curious. Quinn Hughes, year one rookie sweaters for the Vancouver Canucks. Top 12 rookie signatures, Victor Olafsson. And for that matter, would any of you guys said the Avalanche were a success up until this year? Like an actual success. Would anyone honestly say that? We've got a 999 for the Maple Leafs, Robertson. 299 for the Montreal Canadiens, Sitar. Okay, so that's successful to win playoff rounds now and get knocked out. 145, Panarin. So when did the Avalanche start making the playoffs and actually make like go further than the first round? Two years ago or three years ago? Auto facts of Asplen. To be fair, that's why I'll, I'll show you why I'm saying this, and I'll explain my reasoning of not panicking yet, and I do mean yet. Two ninety nine for the Avalanche. Give the floor. When was the first time the Avalanche? Got out of the first first round, just so I know. Four ninety nine for the Ottawa Senators, Shabbat. Just be honest. What is that? You're not you're not answering the question. That that I want to explain something very quickly. And I'm trying to be. Well, we are trying to compare the Avs and the Leafs because here's the reason why. If I remember correctly, the Avalanche had not got to the second round. Chalios, 399 for the Red Wings, till 1819. Right? So they got to the second round in 1819. Number to 75 for the Avalanche, McKinnon. Which means Landeskog was seven years into his NHL career. McKinnon was five years into his career. Number to 214, Wild Card Redemption, which is Yo Levy. So basically, you had those two guys out there longer without winning a series, but nobody says get rid of them. 599, Letnov for the Sharks. Now, 
To be clear for those thinking that I'm a homer, only the one person, I do believe if the Leafs do not get past first round next year, you have to make a major change. Geeky for the Carolina Hurricanes, $9.99. That I believe. $9.99, Emerald of Barkov. I just don't understand why everyone panics when other teams have done similar things. Emerald Rookie Redemption, Boston Bruins. And a Huberto Remnant for the Panthers. As I said, Landis Gog, it took him seven years to get to seven, uh, se second round. And McKinnon, five years to get to second round. The Maple Leafs, I believe this was their fifth year together. So again, why are we panicking with these guys? They definitely have more money tied up. I agree with that. I absolutely agree with that. And I do think Marner would be the only logical one to trade right now. Aho for the Canes. Because Nylander's contract's good. And at least he proved that he was okay in the playoffs. You can't really get rid of Matthews. That makes no sense. 99 Emerald. Bowen Byram. And Tavares, I believe, has a no movement. So that's absolutely irrelevant. Retro Rookie Redemption number one, Lafreniere. Like, here's the thing for anyone saying blow it up. So, Greg, for example, Rich, I'm not saying you're saying blow it up. What do you possibly do that's going to make our team better, in all honesty? So, you guys get rid of Marner or whoever you guys are going to say. Who, who are we grabbing that's going to somehow make us much better? Hole B for the Capitals, Remnants. I'm just kind of curious what you guys' logic is on that. Two ninety nine, Timo Meyer for the Sharks. Ninety nine for the Anaheim Ducks of Getzlaff. And a rookie redemption, Montreal Canadiens. To blow it up. It can't get worse. Well, it could. We could make we could not make the playoffs. 175 Headman. I agree with that, Rich, go get toughness, but I don't think getting Marner. Let me put it this way. Getting rid of Marner, we're not gonna get toughness back. We're gonna get another good player in return. You get rid of the Hymans of the world, then we can use that money to get toughness. I like, Simmons was supposed to be tough, and he just failed us. It's easy to replace top and talent. Gold and you are just different level. We've got a Lord Stanley Legacy Relics of Gomez for the Devils. We've got, that's a pretty good one, an autographed. Emerald Rookie Redemption Jersey Patch Number Two Kaprizov. You're disappointed in me. You're disappointed in me because I do not want to get rid of 23 to 24 year old superstars in the league. I feel like that's not a logical move. Not yet. We've got a 499 Eichel for the Buffalo Sabres. Again, how long did it take Washington to win with the team they had? Two four two ninety nine, sorry, Yandel for the Panthers. Two ninety nine Peyton Kreps for the Vegas Golden Knights. Forty-five for the Buffalo Sabers, Jack Eichel. Okay, so all I'm saying is you keep saying the same things. Rookie Redemption Rangers, you think getting rid of Matthews and Marner is going to help our team? In all honesty, one seventy-five JVR for the Flyers. 